It could be Kentucky or Virginia, Tennessee or Texas, but it's not. It's where wine country meets horse country at Stonegate Farms in the hills near Adelaida. And it's where we find Debbie Baldwin, who for a few mornings a week exchanges her marketing general manager and co-proprietor hats for a riding hat. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest and um, uh, my dad had a 26 acre hobby farm and my girlfriend had a Appaloosa Ranch and we used to ride every weekend and go on picnics and so it's kind of in my blood. I went to college and I um, started my business career and, and then everything, you know, of course stopped and and then when we moved up here it was like, well, wow, this is, you know, cool. This is, I, I met women that were riding and, and we, you know, went on trail rides. Let them come back to trot. We had a, um, um, what do we call it, the Epicurean, Epicurean Equestrian Trespasser Society. <laughs> and we used to go off onto to people's ranches and have picnics. We, we asked them for Deborah and Justin Baldwin were bankers, investment, international, and mortgage. They founded their family-owned and operated winery in 1981, when wineries were few and far between in the now booming Paso Robles viticulture area. Planting their 160-acre property to produce exceptional Bordeaux-style blends and single varietals, they never looked back. In the beginning, they did almost everything. The hard work and thoughtful choices paid off in wide recognition and company growth. Now, there's more time to take time although dressage classes might not strictly qualify for taking it easy. It just kind of takes you away from your daily stuff, you know, so you can kind of chill. It's a challenge. It's very, because um, I, you know, I'm kind of a competitive person, so <laughs> it's good for my personality, but it's also challenging because it's like, you know, you're riding when you're older, it's a little scary when they start bucking and doing all this stuff. <laughs> As husband Justin says, the rewards of pioneering are greater than the risks. True in the arena, at work, and maybe life in general. The winery has afforded us the great opportunity to, to go many, many places. I mean, we've met so many fab fabulous people and seen so many incredible, you know, entrepreneurial um, businesses, wine businesses that have started from nothing or that have been classic, you know, Bordeaux. Brands. It's, it's just amazing, but there's so much more to see. And that's kind of our mantra. It's never like, okay, that's great, we did all that. Okay, what, it's like, what else are we gonna do? What, where, where can we go next? <laughs>